Let's bring some reality to the conversation. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a viral video from Tyler Perry on a podcast, I suppose, where he was speaking about relationships between black men and black women. Now, there were some things he said in the video that made sense, I suppose, and we'll get to that in just one moment, but the clip was based on the falsehood because he said, in most cases, most of the time, black women make more money than black men. This is simply not true. When you look at the actual data, the statistics, the hardcore physical evidence, black men make more money than black women. Now, is it a big gap? No, it's not a big gap. That doesn't matter. The fact is that the men make more than the women. And when you zoom out and look at the entire United States, it's the same way. White men make more than white women. Asian men make more than Asian women. Hispanic men make more than Hispanic women. This is just the reality. And it's weird because, you know, a lot of women were celebrating Tyler Perry talking about, oh, these guys are so broke. They need to catch up. Broke, dusty, all this, that, and the third. So if if the premise is that the men make less than the women, then there's something wrong with the men and they got to catch up. But if the opposite is believed that the men make more than the women, all of a sudden we got a gender pay gap and we need to pass legislation to fix it. And it's the patriarchy and it's somehow still the man's fault. So if the man makes more, he's at fault. If the man makes less, he's at fault. Now I'm not saying all women feel that way. And some of y'all feminist men, I'm just saying that's a mainstream narrative that I've noticed. Now, we're going to get into the video. And if you want to see the full video without my commentary link, as always, will be in the box. After we get done with this, we're going to look at some statistics and we're going to read an article a little bit that dives further into the issue that goes beyond race. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Listen, a, a lot of women, especially black women, and mm -hmm. I might get in trouble for saying this, but I will. In the in in our society right now, mm -hmm. black women are making a lot more money for the most part than yeah. black men. Right. So I got to pause at certain times because I don't know about the copyright or whatever on this fair use, by the way. Um, again, what he's saying right here is simply not true. And what's about all the pillows and whatnot around them? I don't know. I'm just asking questions. Right. There are a lot of black men who are successful, but for the most part, black women are making the money. So you if you can find love. If that man works, you know, at whatever job mm -hmm. and is a good man and is good to you mm -hmm. and honors and honors the house and honors his wife and does what he can mm -hmm. because his his gift may not be your gift. Exactly. That is OK. Mm -hmm. I mean, OK, I understand the whole point about coming together and y'all want to be on the same page. OK, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. But again, the, the premise is false because he's acting like. The women make so much more money and they are the breadwinners. It's just not the, the truth. Again, when you see the actual numbers we get to in a minute, what he's saying here is false. Now, there are some cases where you have female breadwinners, but that's not typical. It is not typical for any race in America. That's not somebody who's beneath you. Yeah. That's somebody who came to love you at your work, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And as long as he's secure in himself to mm -hmm. know that, Yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. As long as she's comfortable enough to say, I'm going to cover the mortgage and all the other stuff, you can handle the light bill, baby, you can take me to dinner every now and then. Mm -hmm. That is fine. Yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, but that's so hard for a lot of people to take in because that means, no, 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 I need somebody to, who is, <laughs> <laughs> I need, I, they need to make five times more and I got to have, the, I got to have, well, you uh -huh. keep, but go keep, keep, looking, go keep your list, baby. Yeah. God, God bless you. Hope it happens. What happens a lot with that is you have people that probably work at the same place, meet each other there, and they make similar pay. But because the man is not tremendously above her, she thinks that somehow he's broke. Okay, so here, here's what could happen. She might make 75000 a year. He'll make 80000 a year, but she thinks he's broke. And then it becomes this whole thing about who's paying what and all this and that and the third. It's so weird, but that's just kind of what's going on. But again, you see what I'm saying? 
even in that situation, there's not, it's, he's not making less than her. He's making more than her. But her perception of it is different. Don't keep your list. <laughs> but when you talk about just someone to love you and support yes. you, I, I know people who have, who whose men can't touch what they make. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when you see them together, that love, that support, that that I got you, babe, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing. Okay, so that's the video right there. Now, this is being passed all around the Internet. It's really big on X, formerly known as Twitter. As of right now, it's about 12 noon Eastern on Saturday, September the 15th, 2023. It's about 5.9 million views. It's gone all over the place. Now, I stepped in to give my two cents on it because – I'm saying, hey, that's not true. Let's look at the actual numbers. Let's look at the actual numbers right here. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to a different page. This is blackdemographics.com. And I will link to this in the, the box. It has all numbers right here. Let's look at it. Individual black income. We could look at the black household income. And then we could look at the individual black income. So individuals, male, full-time, year-round workers, you have about 6.1 million of them. They make median $46,000. Female full-time year-round workers, they make $41,719. So not a big gap, about $4,000 in difference. But it doesn't matter if it's $4,000, $10,000, or $1. The fact is that the men make more than the women. Now, look at the black family income. So let's look at female householder, no spouse, family. So this is head of household. She got kids or whatever, if I'm not mistaken. So this is 44% of the black community. 44% of the households are headed up by a female. What does that mean? Now, if I'm wrong, y'all let me know. What this means is 44% of households with children have female only um, or female head of household, which means female only, no spouse and kids. 44% compared to 19% of the U.S., which is high. That, that number, the 19 number is high, but 44% is very high compared to only 10% of the males in the same category. And if you look at the male, black, 10% um, head of household, like single fathers with kids, that's close to the national average, 7.8%. But the 44 is dra dramatically bigger than the 19. Anyway, female householder, $37,800 median income. Male, 49148 So what are we saying here exactly? What are we talking about, Tyler Perry? The numbers don't add up. The numbers don't add up. This is blackdemographics.org. This is a black-owned and operated website. The numbers come from official government statistics. What are we saying? Let's just get our facts in a row. Let's just say the right things. And again, I will link to everything in the box so you could do your own research. Now, here is more information about the entire United States. Now, this chart, I'm going to explain it. This is the ratio of female to male earnings, all right? Now, that's kind of hard to read right there, but I'm going to just show you this, okay? So, this number right here, let's, let's go down to 2022. So, black women make 90% of what black men make. Not 100, which would be equal not 101, which would be more, 90%. Now, look at Hispanic, 85.8%. Also very close. Um, white, 83%. Asians have the biggest gap, the, the, I guess you would say gender pay gap, and the women make 79% of what they make. So it's all very close, 90%, 85%, 83%, not that far off. There's not really a big gap. But regardless of what, there's no race of women who make more than their male counterparts of the same race. 
It's just not the case. It's just not there. So when Tyler Perry says that they mostly make more, there are some cases where they make more. Maybe in his circle is like that. But in reality, once you zoom out and look at the entire United States, it's not that way. Now, I want to press forward here because now we got to get into greater society. We got to get into beyond black, white, whatever. Let's look at this right here. Now, here's an article talking about um, young men having issues with dating. And this article was so sad because there was one guy on there. He was 36 years old, a security guard. He made 55000 a year. He said he'd only been on three dates in his entire life at age 36. And one of them was taking the girl to the movies in high school. In high school. And he is subscribed to OkCupid, okay Bumble, and Hinge. Paid subscriptions. And is not having any kind of luck. What's the problem? He's five foot five. Okay. He may not be some kind of super in shape guy. He might not be fat, but he might not be some kind of gym bro. And he's not making six figures. If he was to be on the same app and be my height, I'm six foot three. Like I'm six three and I'm dark skinned. And I got some money. So with me on the dating website, it's no problem. But a guy like that is having the problem. Okay. So when, you, when you're talking about women that say they can't find a suitable counterpart because of the money part of it, well, maybe there's other things like, I don't know, height, weight, uh, charisma, charm, all those things go into it. So don't make it be about money because that's not I've, I've proven the money's not even the problem. The problem appears to be other things. Now, here is a great way to prove the point, and I'm going to close on this note, and I'm going to link to this article right here, okay? I'm going to link to that article in the box because that's going to be a whole different topic in itself. But here's something I'm going to leave you with. This woman, Hannah Cox, shout out to her. Don't harass her. Do not harass her at all. She says, women don't need to lower their standards. Instead, we need to figure out why men on average, are falling so far behind their male counterparts? This is vastly important question. Biologically, most women are simply not going to be attracted to a man they don't see as equal. This is a white woman. So again, it's not even about black, white, or whatever. This is a U.S. Western issue that is plaguing all of us. But here is an excerpt from an article that she cited. Let's read it right quick. But part of it also boils down to this. It's hard for men to find partners at a moment when women are outpacing them both at school and work. Young women now hold 1.6 million more degrees, college degrees than men, and in a growing number of cities, including Los Angeles, Washington, D.C., and New York, they make as much as or more than their male counterparts. And even when, and even if they become mothers, odds are, Four in 10, they'll become the breadwinners of their households. Now, there's so much, like I said, from the beginning. If the women thought they made less than the men, that'd be a problem. That's blamed on the men. Patriarchal society, gender pay gap, uh, pass what we do, pass what we pay us equal pay, pay us more, pay us for our work, all this and that. And a third, that'd be our fault. If they think they make more, then you guys got to catch up. You're broke. You're dusty. We're outpacing you. You're not compatible. Then the whole thing about degrees. Well, what kind of degree do you have? Okay, all I have is an associate's degree. And I know I make, I know for sure that throughout my life, even before YouTube, even when I was doing printing and shipping the club flyers and brochures and catalogs, even when I was doing that at age 23, I made more money than a lady with an underwater lesbian basket weaving degree. So let's just keep it all the way real about what's really going on. Okay, let's just keep it all the way real and stop playing games. And then let's look at the student loan debt. Two-thirds of the student loan debt bubble is owned by women. Consumer debt, credit card debt, all kind of ridiculous debt. The large amount of consumerism is driven by women. Online shopping, Amazon, all that debt is racked up by the women. So if you do have a degree... And you do make a lot of money. How much debt do you have? I don't have any debt that can't be 
discharged of easily. I don't have any consumer debt. I don't have any student loan debt. All I have is my car note and my cars are worth more than what I owe. My house is worth a lot more than what I owe. So I'm straight. I don't have this dumb debt that is plaguing this nation. So let's just stop all this nonsense. The the gender war stuff is kind of ridiculous. I think that we need to just focus on the reality of what's going on rather than feelings because feelings do not equal up to reality. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on this whole situation about the gender pay gap or the lack thereof? What Tyler Perry said, what a young lady right there at the end of that particular segment said, the article, whatever your thoughts on any of this are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. What should happen in any argument, debate, conversation is that we lead with facts, figures, real information, not just some anecdotal type thing. Oh, my friend and my, my sister and my, and my cousin, Let's lead with the facts and let the facts dictate the flow of the conversation. Because if we don't do that, then we're not having a good faith and honest discussion. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.